Wolfgang is a simple-minded strongman character of Don't Starve Together. Everyone knows who Wolfgang is because he's the go-to character when it comes to combat, especially combat in speedruns. Wolfgang is the speedrunning favorite because of two reasons. He has the ability to constantly deal twice the amount of damage of a normal character, and the second is that it's extremely easy for him to access this ability. To gain the 2 times damage multiplier, Wolfgang needs to bring his mightiness meter above 74 points. This is incredibly easy to do. Chopping trees, mining rocks, and rowing all increase his mightiness pretty quickly. You can gain mightiness quickly by simply fighting something, since it increases by 1 point every time you land a hit. Dumbbells are extremely cheap to craft, and even the worst one is able to take Wolfgang from wimpy to mighty very quickly. His mightiness meter slowly drains over time and is impacted by the amount of hunger Wolfgang has. If Wolfgang is almost full, meaning his hunger is over 150, he'll lose 1 mightiness every 10 seconds. If he's starving, he'll lose almost 2 mighty points per second. Hunger is extremely easy to manage in this game. The only players that for some reason won't be able to keep Wolfgang's hunger from going into the red zone are going to be F and D tier players. C tier players and up will find keeping Wolfgang fully fed whenever he needs to go into combat a non-issue. And this is the problem with Wolfgang. As long as you're not new to the game, he's essentially a Wilson with a 2 times damage multiplier. Sure, there are requirements to gain 2 times damage, but the requirements are so laughably easy that they might as well not exist for anyone who hasn't just installed the game. The whole idea of using dumbbells and working out at the gym as the developer intended way for Wolfgang to become mighty is also bad because both require Wolfgang to stop playing the game and either take a timeout or take a timeout while playing a minigame. Now, I think Clay realized this, which is why they buffed the gym and dumbbells in order to reduce the amount of time Wolfgang players are in timeout. However, that just exacerbates the problem of Wolfgang gaining crazy buffs without the player having to do anything to earn them. Not only does Wolfgang gain 2 times damage for nothing, he can also wear marble suits without any speed penalty which gives him an enormous advantage in fights since marble is available on day 1. He's also the only character that treats the piggyback as a complete upgrade to the backpack since he's not penalized by the slight speed decrease. Not only that, but he also gains other buffs like chopping, mining, and rowing faster. He's Wilson with 2 times damage, which is already incredible, plus the best armor in the game and a couple of other useful perks at essentially no cost. Now contrast that with someone like Warley. Warley has enormous downsides, such as only being able to eat crockpot dishes and reaping diminished benefits from eating the same food repeatedly. Warley also has a faster hunger drain. These are pretty severe downsides that not only make it difficult for more newer players to just keep Warley alive, but make fighting difficult since he can't just heal himself by spamming pierogies. Like Wolfgang, Warley has the potential to give himself an enormous damage multiplier. In fact, Warley's potential damage multiplier is much higher than Wolfgang's. Unlike Wolfgang, Warley's damage multiplier is balanced by the requirements he has to fulfill in order to access his powers. First, Warley is going to have to obtain a Volt Gold Horn, which is a rare and valuable drop that only has a 25% chance of appearing after a Volt Gold is slain. Volt Golds repopulate slowly, run away from the player, and attack pretty quickly, so obtaining these aren't easy. Secondly, Warley has to cook the Volt Gold Jelly and use it before it spoils in 10 days. Finally, he has to ensure that it has been raining enough for the world to be wet before he engages in a fight. And he has to make sure that he finishes the fight in 5 minutes because that's how long the effect of Volt Gold Jelly lasts. So Warley not only has some major downsides, but the requirements to get the 2.5 damage are not only difficult but sometimes completely dependent on chance. And after he does achieve his 2.5 damage, it only lasts for 5 minutes. After that, he has to grind for resources and wait for the opportunity again. Now imagine if Warley didn't have any of his restrictions on eating food, meaning he could eat non-crockpot recipes and eat as many of the same foods as he wants, without diminishing benefits. Now also imagine that instead of cooking Volt Gold Jelly and waiting until the world is soaked, Warley could get 2.5 damage at the cost of 4 rocks and a twig. To me, that would make Warley just a boring character. It's the same reason why I think Wolfgang is boring. Part of what makes the game fun is the risk versus reward aspect, or the feeling of accomplishment. With Warley, when you've put in the work to survive with a character who's harder to keep alive and put in the work to obtain the rare Volt Gold Jelly Dish, when the world begins to experience heavy rain, then you know it's your time to shine. Your skill, effort, and luck all come together to produce the perfect situation where your character can really shine. Because of that, when you do fight something as Warley with 2.5 damage, it feels special. You feel a sense of accomplishment. There is a setup and a payoff to your effort, so beating something as Electric Warley doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels satisfying. With Wolfgang, it's the exact opposite. Since it's so easy to multiply your strength by 2 as Wolfgang, you don't get the same feeling. Since you didn't do anything to earn the 2 times damage, you don't get the same sense of thrill or accomplishment when you fight. Instead, it just feels cheap. Now there are other characters that are obviously good at fighting as well. Wanda and Wendy can both dish out similar damage to Wolfgang, but both aren't boring because, like Warley, there are not so easy requirements that they need to fulfill in order to do so. Unlike Wolfgang, Wanda is not a beginner-friendly character due to her age-health mechanic. 
On top of that, Wanda can only access her Wolfgang level damage when she's in her Elder form, so she not only takes considerably more skill to pick up versus Wolfgang, but her great damage is balanced by the severe risk that she undertakes in order to obtain it. Unlike Wanda, Wendy is a beginner friendly character, but she's not a boring character like Wolfgang because the way in which she can gain access to Wolfgang level damage requires skill, grinding, risk, and is way less intuitive than simply picking up 4 rocks and a twig and standing in place for 15 seconds. Wendy can only deal Wolfgang level damage when she's riding an ornery beefalo with a war saddle and she's attacking the same target as Abigail. So you can't even do this unless you tame an ornery beefalo which requires some skill and at least 20 days if you're trying to do this in the early game. Then you have to get a war saddle, which will take you a lot of tries if you're not in the late game, since Iwakis spawn rates start really low. It also requires you to go to the ruins in order to get a construction amulet, else you're going to have to fight two Iwakis instead of just one. Lastly, you're going to have to make sure Abigail is attacking the same target as you, which is difficult when you're up against raid bosses, since most of them have hard-hitting area of effect attacks that will waste Abigail quickly. So you'll have to either keep the boss's aggro on you, or you'll have to grind for Spectre Cure-Alls in order to keep Abigail alive in the fight. Finally, since you're on a beefalo, you can't just tank and spank raid bosses since beefalo only have 1000 HP, so this also limits the situations where Wendy can deal Wolfgang level damage. So Wendy isn't boring because she needs a combination of skill, grinding, and knowledge in order to achieve Wolfgang level damage in a really non-intuitive way. Plus, unlike Wolfgang, Wendy and Wanda aren't just carbon copies of Wilson with boosted stats. Both have really unique abilities that either come at a cost or need to be used in an innovative way in order to rival Wolfgang. So Wolfgang is a boring character because he's just a carbon copy of Wilson with massively boosted stats. Boosted stats that the player can access from the very start of the game with absolutely no difficulty. The old Wolfgang also suffered from this, but he was a lot better because accessing his boosted stats actually required some planning and extra skill. Before his character refresh, Wolfgang needed his hunger to be above 225 in order to be in his mighty form. While in this mighty form, his hunger drained at a very fast rate, up to 3 times the normal state. This was a good downside. It means the player had to use their brain and prepare extra resources if they were going to use his mighty form, rather than just have a couple of spare rocks in their inventory. Not only that, but his mighty form didn't have a static 2 times damage multiplier. Instead, while in his mighty form, Wolfgang's damage multiplier would change based on how close his hunger was to its maximum. Only when his hunger was at its absolute maximum, meaning 300 out of 300, did Wolfgang deal 2 times damage. As it drops from 300 to 225, it would decrease gradually for a 2 times multiplier at 300 to 1.25 at 225 hunger. Both his 3 times hunger drain as well as his dynamic damage multiplier made Wolfgang a much more interesting character to play. Having to grind the food resources to deal with his hunger drain made you feel a sense of accomplishment when you were rewarded with Wolfgang's extra damage. Having his damage multiplier decrease dynamically with the amount of hunger just added another dimension to fighting as Wolfgang since you needed to constantly keep an eye on his hunger and eat small snacks in order to keep him dealing his highest level of damage. I'm not saying that old Wolfgang was perfect, but he wasn't because he was still a carbon copy of Wilson who could access incredible stat boosts a lot easier than people like Warley. However, he was way more fun to play as than the Wolfgang we have now, even discounting the speed boost that old Wolfgang got when in his mighty form. There's another reason that the old Wolfgang was just a much funner character than the current one. Player Synergy One of the things that makes a character really fun to play as is how well they synergize with the abilities of other characters. Wigford is an amazing character not just because she has unique abilities that make her fun to play as solo, but because her abilities like her healing song greatly enhance other characters, specifically those who have trouble healing such as Wormwood and Woody's Wermoose form. Therefore having a Wigfrid on your team and working together with her opens up a lot of new possibilities that would be much harder for you to pull off in solo gameplay. Old Wolfgang sort of had this synergy going with Wickerbottom, Wendy, and Wormwood. In order to access his highest damage, Wolfgang needed to eat tons of food so he really benefited from characters who could acquire enormous amounts of food when they are playing the support role. However, since the new Wolfgang gains access to his damage without any real downside, he doesn't benefit from the massive spare food like he did before. Since Wolfgang can just do everything on his own, it just discourages the whole teamwork aspect of DST, which again makes the character boring, since half the fun of playing with others is working together to accomplish things that you can't do while playing solo. If it were up to me, I would simply change Wolfgang back to how he used to be. The dynamic health, hunger, and damage was much more interesting and required you to use your brain way more than what we currently have. I would probably keep his speed the same though. Being able to wear marble armor without the speed penalty means your team benefits when they save marble for Wolfgang players. So it's a good way of rewarding your team for game knowledge. Also, I like the idea of the player having the option of assembling the shadow chess pieces without having to tame a beefalo. Anyway, that's pretty much why I don't think Wolfgang is a good character. He's a carbon copy of Wilson who gets insane stat boosts for doing nothing and I think he was way more interesting before his refresh. 
If Clay eliminated all the downsides of playing Warly and allowed him to do electric damage by simply eating berries, I think he's a boring character as well. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video, and as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.